Retimer is about to launch the third version of their light therapy glasses on Kickstarter. I managed to get my hands on a pair and I've been using them for about a week. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about my opinions, how much I like them, the differences from version two to version three. And of course, we're gonna test them as well, like we like to do with everything. So yeah, let's get into it. If you're not familiar with light therapy glasses, they're basically just a mobile sad lamp. So you would use them in the morning if you wanna advance your circadian rhythm or you wanna wake up earlier. You can use them in the evening to delay your circadian rhythm. So you can use these for jet lag, insomnia, and of course you don't have to stay anchored in one spot. You can make coffee, walk around the house. So they're really nice to have and they are effective. So the question is how good are the retimers? The Retimer in particular are the most well-studied sad glasses on the planet. They've been in multiple trials to show that they are effective, unlike many of the other options where you just kind of have to take the company's word for it. But we'll get into all that. Compared to the previous version, these are lighter, far more comfortable, and easier to use. And they look cooler. In fact, they might actually be the coolest looking light therapy glasses out there. If you're walking around like your hotel lobby, people are just gonna be like, whoa, that dude is freaking cool. If you guys are interested in getting a pair of these, I recommend checking out the Kickstarter, where I think the super early bird is for $110, early birds 130, and then I think just like the standard is about 150. All of those are good prices for light therapy glasses. So if you're looking to get in early and get a pair of these, I'd make sure you can get into the super early version. So what do you get when you buy these? The retimers come in a hard velvet lined case, which also comes with a soft pouch. It comes with three different nose pad sizes, as well as a USB-C charging cable. That's right, USB-C, thank God. And the glasses themselves. The glasses are extremely simple. You just fold them open and press the button on the side and they turn on. That's it. They'll run for an hour and shut themselves off. You don't have to use them for an hour, but that's just how they work. There are no brightness settings. If you wanna change the brightness, you just kinda of have to slide it down on your nose. Now, the old version used to project light from below, but it was actually projecting from much lower. So you really couldn't like look at your phone or your keyboard or anything like that. These, however, have sort of fixed that problem. They're a little bit more, just a little below horizon. And so you can see stuff in front of you and above you. It's very easy to see stuff under you. So it takes a little bit of getting used to some of the other alternatives, shine light from above, which typically you would associate with being better. Um, if you've heard anything from Andrew Huberman, he says light coming from above is more beneficial. But the thing about these is that if you're using light therapy glasses that are shining from above and you're doing some kind of task down here, there's actually not as much light entering your pupil as if you were looking horizontally. So these may actually be beneficial for just, you know, full plane use. As far as battery life goes, these perform phenomenally. I got seven hours out of one charge. One charge takes an hour and 20 minutes. Both of those are better than version two. In fact, these last longer than I think most of the other light therapy glasses out there. You're probably not gonna use these for an entire hour on any given day so they should easily last you a week. As far as the comfort goes, I found these to be perfectly comfortable. I have worn them for up to an hour, which again, I think is excessive, and I didn't really have any issues. I had maybe potentially some slight aching here when I took them off that went away after like five minutes. I have a pretty big head, so this probably won't be an issue for you. Comparing the light itself to version two, I found these far more comfortable. They're far more diffused than version two, and I found the glare to be acceptable for a light therapy device. Do they work with glasses? Yes, they do for the most part. I think it might depend. I have a smaller framed pair of glasses that did not work as well as the larger frame glasses that I had. Now the issue was that when I put them on, the light was obstructed by the black frame of the glasses, casting a shadow over my eyes. This did significantly reduce the amount of light hitting my pupil, and you can actually see that when I move the light, you can see my pupil dilate. And so we know that that is definitely changing the effect. If your glasses block a little bit of blue light, most eyeglasses nowadays have some kind of light blue blocking tint, and they do block you know, anywhere from 10 to 20% of the blue. They're not gonna block this light. 
So that's something to consider. If you don't wanna wear your glasses in the morning and you want these, you know, you can do that too. Now, one potential benefit of using the retimers over any of the other ones out there is that these use a greener spectrum of light. It's a 500 nanometer light versus the 460 that you typically see. Green kind of peaks at like 520. So you're pretty close to like peak green. And green light therapy is actually something that we've been exploring here that my wife has found to really help with headaches and pain in general. It's interesting that green light can seem to actually have a pain reducing effect. And so these might function as a green light therapy device a little bit. It's not something that's really been studied, but it is a interesting potential benefit, I think. Okay, so now let's get into the testing. So of course, to test the spectrum, we had to bust out Henry, my spectrometer equipped foam mannequin head. And he did a splendid job as usual. So we can see that the Retimer 3s are putting out a 501 nanometer monochromatic light. This is an interesting choice because you wouldn't typically think that a greener light is for circadian rhythm entrainment, but there's actually a lot of data showing that it works very well. It's putting out about as much light as the previous version, but like I said, it's more diffused, it's more comfortable. And we did measure their circadian light coming off of these, and it performs kind of in the middle of the road with the other glasses, but this really isn't the full story. Circadian light, I think, is a useful metric, but it's also just our best guess. It seems to correlate well. The one thing that Retimer has going for it is that they've actually used their spectrum at around this amount of light output on many different cohorts and studies to show that it is effective, which I find reassuring. Beyond that, I found that they worked. Just using them in the morning makes me feel energized, and you can tell the difference on a day that you don't use them. Like it beats a cup of coffee, it beats element. Light just beats anything else. Obviously, if you can go outside, that beats these. But you know, these are for winter or on a plane or right when you can't use something else. One of my recent upgrades is I bought a professional grade flicker meter. What I was pleased to see is that the Retimer 3s have none whatsoever. So if you're concerned about light flicker, there is none. As far as the EMF goes, I actually couldn't really detect any. So whatever kind of magic they're doing, I have two meters. I have a Tri-Field TF2 and a GQ EMF 390. And with neither one of them was I able to detect any amount of radiation coming off of these, which is nice. I like that. There's some other glasses on the market that are not doing such a good job in the EMF department. These are Bluetooth and they come with an app, which we're going to talk about next. You don't have to connect them to the app. I think this kind of thing is probably useful for people who are trying to fix their sleep. It connects to Apple Health and whatnot, or just like people who like data. To pair the three timer glasses, you just press and hold and then just connect the glasses. The app itself has a pretty simple home screen where you can access on the top left the device itself where you can view battery life. What I found very cool about the Retimer 3 app is that it actually contains a set of four or five different calculators that make it super simple and easy to modulate your circadian rhythm. So like if you wanted to get up earlier in the morning, there's one to you know phase advance your circadian rhythm where you put in your current bedtime, your desired bedtime, and then it calculates for you when you should be using your glasses, which is awesome because phase delay, phase advance, it very quickly it becomes kind of overwhelming for people. Even for me, sometimes I'm like phase delay. What does that do again? Is that in the morning or in the evening? Right, so it's like, <laughs> It just kind of gets rid of all the nerdy stuff and just gets you right into like the practical use case for this. They have one for like jet lag, which is extremely useful. If you guys have ever traveled from east to west, jet lag sucks. If you properly use light, you can completely mitigate jet lag entirely. So having something like that is very useful. The app is free, it's well built. I didn't have any issues with it. So I would check that out. I think you can even use it without these glasses. So Retimer is awesome. I guess in conclusion, I just really liked how simple they are. You just throw them on and press the button. This might be a really good gift for anyone who has sleep problems because the combination of the ease of use, the long battery life, and then the actual app that guides you through how to use these in a very practical and easy to follow way, it makes it a very accessible technology. And yeah, for $110, these are a steal. They're half the price of everything else out there. So I'd pick a pair up.